My boy, my boy, man, Young Ro, man, what the fuck what it do? What it do? Hey, man, we in North Carolina right now, man. How, this your first time ever coming to NC, bro? Yeah, I already know. I had to go get the whole fit to the come. I said I couldn't come unless I put the whole North Carolina fit on. Yeah. Hold on. Pause the interview. I'm about to put my jersey on. Hold okay. On. <laughs> nah, we, we, we keep going though. Hold on. I got to turn to the old Panther right quick. That's yeah. love though, man. You said this is your first time though, man. Yeah, this is my first time out of here. Where? How, how you, um, how does, how the city treat me though, you know, for the time you've been out here? Yeah, no, I like it. I just walked in, in a mall. Somebody noticed me, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's lit. That's what's yeah. up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, you know, man, a lot of shit done changed since the last interview we did about two months ago, bro. Like, Facts. it's not like you've been going up crazy, my nigga. Facts. Like, so, I mean, how, how the experience been, though, bro? Like, man, man shit been crazy, man. Because last time you pulled up on me, I was on block. Now I'm in North Carolina about to do a show. So, that just tells you all, um, I ain't gonna lie. I love this shit. Like, I love this shit more than the drug game. More than anything I ever done, like this the life, this the shit I've been wanting to do. Yeah. And now it's like my dreams unfolding right now. Most definitely. Police still fucking with me, but for the most part, everything is love. Everywhere I go, it's love. Yeah, we are gonna get into all that though. Um, now, um, I'm I seen that you know what I'm saying you was sending me mail shit back in like two years ago. You know what I'm saying like. Not just send two. Four, five years ago, six years ago. Yeah. Man, matter of fact, man, seven, eight years ago, I was sending Meek shit. Like, yeah. I've been sending that nigga shit. Like, my, <laughs> listen, yeah. man, that nigga been my favorite rapper, man. I'm telling you, for real. I didn't yeah. name dogs and shit after this nigga. Like, yeah. that nigga been an idol to me. Like, for real. So it's just like, to get signed to him, that shit crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, how, how was that whole situation, though, bro? Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how can you explain that day? Like, that whole day when you was when you got signed? Like, um, when you checked your shit out? Man, man, that day was crazy. First, I flew in. Say, I'm doing an interview. Just, I'm doing. Full, full 26. It's not gonna do. I'm doing an interview. Um, yeah, we can edit that though. The shit was. Um, the shit was crazy. Um, I had got a phone call by one of his partners. <laughs> and, you know, like, I'm not thinking nothing of it. I just was thinking, like, all right, they listening to me. They hit me. Mm -hmm. So probably, like, I was in the studio probably, like, three days later. Me, FaceTime. He's like, man, what up, man? I want you down there to D.C. Both the world. That nigga sung every song on the phone. That same, same day FaceTime, he's singing every song. So it's like, man. So you know it was so, real, though. Yeah, like, I'm like, man. What's going on? Man? I, well, really, I didn't know what the fuck this was. I'm like, man, this shit crazy, man. It can't be true. So, he brought my own plane ticket. I flew out there to New York, and I got out there. Man, shit just was so crazy. We flying on jets. We flying on helicopters. We going and sit at the Sixers game with the owners on the floor. We just was doing crazy shit, like shit I never seen before. It was like, yeah. So, man, so dreams shit. really do come true though. Man, that shit crazy. Like, I don't even know how to explain this shit. Like, cause I'm a street nigga, I ain't never had nothing. So it's like hard to explain what's going on right now. Yeah. But it's lovely. Like, this this life, this how it was supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing two years ago. That wasn't life. This is life right here. Yeah. So, yeah that's what it is. Yeah, now, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Before, I booked you. Well, we booked you to come out here probably like two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? And bro, it's been hell ever since, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, I seen you put you put on your IG. You got arrested three times in, in ten, ten days, days, my nigga. And it take two days to get out. So just imagine what I went through. Like that's going to jail back to back. Yeah. I went to jail. Take two days to get out. Two days later, I go to jail again. Get out. Two days later, I go to jail again. It was like back to back. Yeah. So it was like it's like I'm a target right now because of what I'm doing. They keep saying that I'm a drug dealer, whatever, but I'm making rap money, I'm getting features back to back, I don't have to sell drugs, but I'm still a target to the law enforcement. And that's, that's fucked up, it gotta be like that, but that's how it's been lately. Like, I love Houston, but man, they've been fucking me up. Yeah. <laughs> they've been beating me up and shit, all the type of shit, man. Yeah, I seen Crazy it. I shit. seen the scar. Hold on, right quick. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
um, how, have you so you seen a difference in like how the way the cops treat you before the deal and you know what I'm saying after the deal? Right, after the deal. It how great. was it before though? Like, did they still use the fuck with you though? Yeah, they knew who I was before, but it was just it was all right. He just one of the little petty drug dealers. Like, they wasn't really worrying about me. But now they see them doing big things. Every time they like run up on me, the first thing they oh you signing me, huh? So that's how I know that they watching, like, cause that's the first thing they say every time I get pulled over. Yeah. Oh, you signed to me. You just signed a major label. Huh? So it's just like, man. Yeah. Let me be. They don't even find me with drugs. They be making up cases. I got, like, the the last cases I caught, they got dismissed cause no probable causes. Like shit, they made up. Like, yeah. <laughs> the judge wasn't even like fucking with what they was talking about. Like they just be making up crazy shit. That's just crazy. I gotta keep going through this shit, bonding out. They done took over ten thousand from me that they say seized. That I I never got caught with no drugs, no nothing, but my money is seized. My car is seized. They been trying to seize everything I got. Damn. Saying I'm selling drugs, but I ain't touch drugs. Yeah. So I mean, how how do you plan to stay out of that shit though? Cause I mean, ten. Three times in ten days, bro. That's like that's yeah. serious, my I nigga. Like, I how, ain't how even you... go outside. It was since the last time I got caught. Man, I'm scared to go outside. They said I was running my partner car and there was a stolen car. I went to jail. Get there, they found out the car wasn't stolen. Let me go. So it's like, damn, I'm scared to ride around. I don't want them to say I'm in a stolen car again. It's like, yeah, that shit crazy, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say about that shit. Like, but I got plans on moving. Like, I, after I get my car shit together. No, I got plans on moving. I'm gone. You're gone. I can't, I can't stay. They keep it doing food shit left and right. Yeah. Well, I mean, did, what what did Meek say about that? Because he dealt with the same shit when he was coming up too. So I'm pretty sure he he told you he gave you info on that. Yeah, he like, told me this before it even happened. Though that's the crazy thing about it. Move, cause you're gonna be a target by niggas in the street in the police. And it was just that like. I was having so much fun, I was caught up in the moment, everybody in Houston was embracing me, everybody knew me, so it was like, damn, I don't want to move, so it's, now it's like, I want to move, because they've been fucking with me so much, but when I first signed, I did not want to move, Yeah. Like, I did not want to move, but that caused me so much of trouble, Meek told me move, though. that was the first thing he told me, like, move, either you're going to die, yeah, he was talking that shit. He was like, yeah, you gonna die, you gonna go to jail. You got the move, bro. Yeah, because like Lil Snoop, rest in peace, Lil Snoop, and um, what's your boy from Detroit? Um, T Grizzly? Uh, no, nah, not T Grizzly, no, the um, other nigga. That's Osama. Yeah, that's Osama. You know what I'm saying? It's the same situation, so you yeah, know, I, mean, I definitely want you to, you know what I'm saying, get your shit. Yeah, get, that get was, he was telling me, he was like, I learned my lesson from them. So it's like, you know, I'm gonna help you move. It just, It was me. It was me. Yeah. I ain't want to move. Meek Men was talking about helping me move. They was looking for me houses. I just ain't want to move. I just yeah. was, you know, I, I'm a street niggas. Like, I'm, I just was in the streets two weeks ago and I just blew up two weeks ago. So it's like, I yeah. love that shit. Like, I can't stay away from the trap. That's you think you're, you think you're a little hard headed now? Because on the side, you said, you, yeah. uh, soldiers should never reincarnate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. They yeah. tell me to stay out the trap. I went to jail and everything and still went back to that motherfucker. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that lifestyle. That's a, that's how I grew up. So it's like yeah. staying inside, not talking to nobody. I ain't used to that shit. Yeah. But I gotta be on that shit because I'm a rapper now. But I ain't used to it. Yeah. And yeah. uh. Yeah. Now you got a hell of shit going crazy. That special ed at one million. Spin cycle at seven seven hundred five k. That wait a minute, bro. She just, just dropped, dropped that shit. Remix the, yeah. the the meat meal joint. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That shit's hard, my but nigga. That's at like a hundred thousand. That's it. Yeah, a hundred thousand in five days. No yeah. promo. No world star. None of that no, shit. None. How? I mean, like, what was it like coming up with those songs? Like, did you think it was gonna be that big? Or? No, I ain't gonna lie. I was stealing niggas beats on YouTube. Man. I ain't, I ain't know it was gonna be that big. Like, yeah. <laughs> like now that like since like the shit blowing up, I had to hit them same people like the beats I stole. I gotta go find them people, and you know get shit right with the split sheet and all that shit. But now I didn't know the motherfuckers gonna do crazy numbers like that. Yeah. That's but, yeah. Yeah, now the the um everybody know about the the um, blue face situation. 
Mm-hmm. I think I was the first blog that broke that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you you erased it right after you. Right, wait, wait, yes. Yeah, so, listen, that's what that world, yeah. you, you the one who blew this shit Bruh, up. I bro- man, I bro- bro- yeah, I swear to God, I remember breaking <laughs> that shit. Yeah, yeah. I swear to God, look when I got here, I thought about that. I'm like, man, who the fuck? <laughs> Cause I deleted it quick. I was like, I deleted the shit yeah. quick. But I ain't gonna lie, that shit helped so much. I'm happy that you got that video. For yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that shit helped so fucking much, man. Yeah. Son, man, that was like the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like your city was riding for you though, behind yeah. you, like going that blue face. Everybody was behind me, man. I had Waka Flocka, his wife, his mama. Hitting me up, man. I everybody was respecting what I was talking about. Hey, it's blue face, the only weird person that wasn't like mm-hmm. respecting it though. Yeah. But you Just know, like I don't DMs. even know him. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm still <laughs> in the sister gym. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, she was only doing that because he probably texted her <laughs> and told her don't fuck with me. But yeah, yeah, they gonna get mad at each other again. <laughs> <laughs> you wild, man. Man, they gonna get mad at each other again. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back in your damn bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga wild, man. But so, nah, that nigga Blueface a hoe. I smack him if I see him. Like, but you know, I ain't. Really I mean, trying. but it's internet though. I mean, did you take that personally though? Know, saying, I mean, being that you was you were serious about it. You was talking about your family. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you were serious. Did she, you take it personally or you no, just No, not really because the thing is, man, I'm not going to ever see him. Like, I take sh- like, we on the internet, like, like, if I see him, I was to smack him, but that's still not personal because I get down how I get down, but it's like, like, bro, you don't know me, you don't know my people, bro. I really love my family, so, like, it's going to be some shit when you see me. It ain't going to just be no, oh, that was for the internet shit, I hope you get what you need to know. It's going to be some shit because... My grandma really on dialysis and she fighting for her life every day, so nigga ain't gonna even disrespect me like that. I don't give a fuck who he is. Like, yeah. So he, he gonna be problems when he see me. I don't give a fuck. That's how that's how it gonna go. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't really wanna, you know what I'm saying, promote that, but at the same time you got you know, you gotta you gotta write to how you feel, you feel me? So right, facts. Yeah, so what you um so what's what's your plans, you know what I'm saying, for twenty twenty though, bro? That shit about to come. <sighs> Man, I got a tape. I probably dropped tape in February. But I'm gonna flood them videos out like I've been saying. Cause I still got a lot of work I gotta do. I gotta get where I wanna be. And I ain't done, so. Just 2020 gonna be my year. Yeah. A lot of videos, a lot of features, a lot of everything. Is anybody you you going, you going looking to work with though in the industry? Or are you just trying to keep it like, you know, nope. by yourself? Meek Mills. Me and Meek got a couple songs. Damn. I'm trying to make the album right now. <laughs> so y'all got like two or, two or three songs. Yeah, you got a couple of songs. I'm trying to make the album, man. Yeah. Hopefully I, y'all hear Young Girl on that album. That's all. Make my favorite rap. That's all who I've been trying to get in touch with. I ain't trying to fuck with nobody else. Yeah. That's what it is. That's real, though. That's real, man. Is there anything else you want to let the streets know about before we check out this shit, man? Man, shout out to my nigga Fishes TV. I want to say shout out to everybody that sling that motherfucking iron because I really sling it. Let's go. This your boy Young Ro, and I'm rocking out with Futures TV. Let's get it. DC, Dream Chasers. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? When I posted you, bro, I put like um, Houston rapper Young Ro. You know what I'm saying? But I had a couple niggas in the comments saying, like, it took it serious. I, th- I guess that was oh, from the N.O. Fresh. Niggas hitting me up right now, like, yo, what's up? Niggas saying you from Houston? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I came up, I came up in Houston. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I got my rap buzz. Houston treated me so good. But I'm originally from New Orleans. And my people mad about this shit, so. Yeah. I got a song coming out that's gonna let y'all know where I'm from, but. You know that what it is. I rep Houston for life, but I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, so you rep both though. It's not like you yeah, just I rep both of them. I be saying yeah. New Houston. I be saying crazy shit. <laughs> I don't be trying to pick a side. Okay. That's how it is. All right.